trying to hear this. Yes. Bring your wife with It's still the way to cook for the lives, and I don't care what comes over there anyways, friends. They ain't no other way. This is the only way to heal. He is the door, they mean you're going through the door or you're not going through. I don't want to get started, buddy. You do this every time. But I do want to say a few things. Now last time I was over here, I heard uh Brother Dewey preached on the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 3 and 11, John said, I baptize with water and the repentance, but there comes one mightier than I. The last of whose shoes are not one of these, but she'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with water. You'll find that in Mark 1 and 8. You'll find it in Luke 11 and 13. You'll find it in John 1, Acts 2 and 4, Acts 1 and 8. But anyway, he preached on that, and, and I was surprised. I was surprised. I hope he was going to be here tonight because I wanted to hear him again. Praise God. Of all the people that was in the church, he gave an invitation to come and pray for the Holy Ghost and nobody come and pray. I guess we're all just so filled up it's running out of our ears. We don't, we don't need to be refreshed. We don't need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Surgery. I thought I was leaving here. 
Well, I thought I was dead, but I didn't know what was going on at the time. But it seemed like I'm like Paul, whether in the body or out of the body, I don't know. Come on. I don't know, but I, I lived and I went up on top of a mountain. <coughs> and there was trees and people all around. Bless him, Lord. I guess you call it a spiritual experience. But I was on that mountain, but there was still a plateau. I'd like to look a plateau, but there was still a mountain, a small mountain to climb. I think that's God telling me you got a little bit more work to do. Come on, come on, come on. But I can tell you one thing: when, when God puts the Holy Spirit in you, yeah. He puts His love in you. You don't just love your church. You don't just love your denomination. Amen. Amen. I appreciate Brother J.R. back there that makes me so welcome when I go up to his church. I love you, Larry. I appreciate you. I don't know what else to say. I probably probably say too much, and I might say, say too much. I'm going to keep it going. But I'm glad I'm saved, and I'm glad I can feel to live here. Praise God. I think the last time I was up here, there might have been a few more here, but it ain't the crowd I enjoy, friends. It's the Spirit of God. Amen. I would rather be in a church that's got 10 people that's sold out for Jesus. Thank you. 
Jesus that's above every name. Amen. 